harsh judge with buckshot. Certainly a firearm that some people use. Home defense. And most people that I think are uncomfortable with possibly using a semi-automatic. Someone that might not be strong in stature to use a double barrel shotgun or a shotgun or uncomfortable with the AR-15, again, a semi-automatic firearm. Uh, trip, uh, the triple lot buck in here, sure does a number. Of course, he's got so many holes all over him already. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, the Taurus Judge, again, for self-defense, something that uh, you may want to look into. Another thing, Taurus Judge, we'll come on over to the table for a second. Our, our buckshot, but we also have some number four shot, five shot, six, eight, and nine. And what you may want to use uh, the Taurus Judge for if you're in one of those states that has a lot of snakes uh, for a snake uh, pest firearm. And uh, I'm not advocating that you go out and specifically hunt snakes with the Taurus Judge if you have poisonous snakes on your property, you have small children, pets, animals, and you're fearful of getting bit, cottonmouth, rattler, and all the other venomous snakes, and you happen to see one, uh, you may want to go ahead and use the Taurus Judge for this. And again, I'm not telling you to go out on your property specifically in the morning to go hunt snakes. I'm just saying if you happen upon one and you feel the need to, to eliminate it because of say family members, uh, that's what you may want to do. So I'm going to load up and we're going to go on a little snake hunt here and uh, see exactly uh, what this judge can do as far as snakes, uh, the pattering of, of the shot and see how it does. And we'll start out with the four. Again, here's your 410 shot shell full of number four shot. Put a couple of these in. Have the number five game load. Again, if you're, depending on the size of the snake, if you're going through something, some skin, I think you're going to want a, a game load. You're probably going to want to stay away from the eight or nine shot, unless it's pretty small. Probably going to want to do a, a five, six type shot. So let's go ahead and, and load it up with, we'll start off with the fours. And then go with the fives. All right, we're all set. So let's go see if we can uh, see if we can find some snakes along our property here. Uh, again, Pennsylvania does have rattlesnakes. I've been in the camp here since 1986. Have never seen a rattlesnake on the property. So, uh, and again, yeah, I did get it for that specifically. But some of the areas, maybe Texas, Louisiana, where you have some of those, those really nasty venomous snakes. If I had children under the age of even 10 to 12, 14, I'd really be worried about them getting bit and possibly uh, something very serious happening. I'm not sure if this could be a fatality or not, but uh, something, something that you don't want to happen to your child. So this is more for really getting rid of a pest on your property. Let's just go see if we can find some. Hey, here's one. Here's one. Keep going. I'll find another. Here we go. Yeah, it looks like a rattler. Okay, we got another rattler right here. Sixes, and some number eights, some Winchesters. All right, let's go back to our hunt. There's another rattler. Him too, just, just in case. Uh oh. Yeah. 
I like the head on it. I have to give him two also. Coming out of the bushes. Let's get him. Look at this one. This one's small. It looks like another little baby rattler. Big one. He's got a big head on him. He's got a big bite. This looks like the worst one. Baby Cobra. Nobody wants to see that. Thank goodness he's in pieces. more left. There's a little one. It doesn't really look too dangerous, but you never can tell. Uh-oh. Another one of them cobras again. Number eight shot. Nice pattern through the head. Of course, snake, I don't know, do they have any necks on them or not? Or does it just go from the head right into the body? But right in through the head, through the body. Uh, this one was maybe eight yards away or so, eight, ten yards away. Certainly looks like this snake wouldn't be going anywhere. I think he's finished. Little orange one. He's got some pellets stuck through him. He's a little bit tougher than those foam ones. Looks like he might have escaped the smaller snake, and of course, your shot spread. You're going to miss a few, but he was hit. Our cobra over here, he's kind of broken up a little bit. He has some shots through the face. Of course, the body is made for kids to play with, but uh, he's got some shots through the body, broken. So I certainly think he was down. Not sure what kind of snake this is. But, uh, again, being the small snake, he's got a few dings through him, but uh, nothing major. So again, the smaller your snake, of course, you might have to take a couple shots at him. I still see some hits on him, though. He would have certainly been wounded and crawling away. And of course, when you're trying to eliminate something, you want it eliminated quickly. You don't want it crawling away and suffering, even though we are talking about snakes. Here's our little one. A lot of great hits on this, as you can see, all through out even down to the smallest area we have some pellets i think they're even stuck in there and of course rubberized like a small snake like this he was eliminated he's gone and of course our other cobra no 
nothing needs really to be said about that since he's laying there in four pieces, at least. <laughs> oh, here we go right here. This is what we really want to see. Let's bring him out. And look at all these pellets right through the head and right in the neck area. And that snake is, he's, he's finished. That's definitely what we want to see. Same with this one, sneaking out of the bushes. He's got a lot up through the head here, a couple into the body. Got a few into the face, got him an eye, two actually, both eyes are hit. And through the top, in the, again, neck or body area. A couple left up here. Taking, taking a look at this rattler. Plenty of, plenty of shot through his head, and this was when we were using the, I think, number six shot. So as you can see, six, eight, nine, all doing a pretty good job on that. So, so probably even if you went to the, the higher, uh, the higher shot number, you'd be okay. This one, he's got a few in there. Not too many for as many pellets are in there. He's got a few through them. And it might take you a couple shots to finish the snake off. Rattler here. Well, he's definitely he's definitely finished. And this was some of the bigger shot. You can see how big the holes are on this one. This was might have been the number four shot, as you can see. A lot of big holes in there through the head. Would almost take his head off. Those three shots right there. The Taurus Judge and snake maintenance or snake prevention. And I'll just say one more time. I'm not advocating just randomly going out and shooting snakes for the pleasure of it because most of the time you're not going to eat it you're not using the animal uh, you're just really eliminating it due to a possible incident you may have with a family member or pet now if you don't like the tar judge for snake hunting you don't like it for self-defense it's always clay pigeon Did he fall apart because I hit the tree, or did he actually do it? <laughs> well, we'll say because he hit it. I didn't expect it to go to the left, though, so let's hope it's on film. Yeah, <laughs> let's do another. Might as well try. And White Rock 85, signing out, Camp Goat Time, deep in the woods, Pennsylvania, Taurus Judge, Snake Hunt.